Hey guys, welcome back. When we last left off on our GM commentary, we had just finished the preseason, and since then I've simmed up to the beginning of the Flames regular season, and yeah, nothing much happened. We did some scouting, and I had to do jersey numbers, which everything stayed the same. The only thing that was interesting was that Agostino came back from injury. He did good in the, uh, in the preseason, so... I'm going to take him off injured reserve, which means we have to either s we have to send someone down or trade someone. What I'm going to have to do is send down Agostino and put Raymond back in the game. It's just not going to let me. We don't have enough uh, enough leeway there. That doesn't matter. All right, let's get the first game of the season, and we lost three two in overtime. I'm pretty sure that's almost how we. Oh, good. The second line actually did well this game. But, yeah, yeah, not bad, not bad. I think the lines worked a little bit better that way. And poor Agostino has to go down to the minors. But whatever, we'll call him back. Uh, yeah, a bunch of emails. See, this is mostly just going to be a simulating video. I'll see how far I can get up. I don't want it to be a super long video today. So, uh, we'll see if we can call him back up here, but... We're going to have to either send Raymond down or place him on waivers. I don't know if I want to do that. Harbison is one of our best players already. He didn't play that bad. We can't justify that yet. So we'll wait. I do want to give him a chance, though. But yeah, we'll just sim up today. And in the meantime, I'm probably just going to talk about some of the news in the NHL recently and how Las Vegas seems like they're going to be getting an expanded team that should be announced uh, 22nd I think it's a Wednesday so that'll be interesting that'll create a lot of issues for everybody with the whole uh, uh, protecting players and everything so I know I know what the Flames looking for a goalie uh, a lot of teams are apparently going to be more willing to trade because of that but I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. I hope I hope the Flames won't have to lose anybody important. I know, obviously, some of the important guys will be protected, but guys like Yoki Paka or uh, Furland even, or maybe even Shane Karak, or possibly even John Gillies is a possibility that we could lose. So, I mean, it's a bit, it could be a bit complicated, and I'm not, I'm excited to see a new team in the NHL, but I hate that it could hurt the flames all right first game of the season for stockton and they won arnold nice arnold smith poirier not bad all right sim up these games let's see how the flames do here all right four three win in our second game not bad goudreau good colburn bennett i like the second line seems to be clicking that that fourth line is doing pretty good too not bad Anybody really bad? Or anybody? Ordi was pretty good. Anybody bad? Backlund and Hoodler. Interesting. Yep. And also, uh, there were finally some trades today. The uh, the Maple Leafs acquired Anderson from the Ducks, who was one of the goalies I was hoping the Flames would be after. But it sounds like the price was too steep and we couldn't get it done. But that's going to be interesting. I'm curious to see how that works out for Toronto. I know that uh, I know that they signed him to like a twenty-five million dollar five-year contract. So that's a big risk for Anderson, who, in my views of him, he was always kind of inconsistent. <laughs> Lomberg suspended. Hey, well that'll help. I can put Agustin on the fourth line. Don't really want to do that. I want to move him up, but uh, see, we're so s freaking. Uh, I don't like doing that, but whatever. Third line isn't bad. I'd like to get him in the NHL. I just can't justify uh, getting rid of Raymond yet. He hasn't played bad enough for me to be like, oh yeah, I can totally send him down and not even think about it. Mm. Yeah, he's actually supposedly been one of our best players, and he's got a goal, so. That's not going to happen anytime soon. 
I'm, the Flames need number one goalie. But going after Reimer might be the best idea because he's he's cheap. Like, we don't have to give anything up to get him. We just have to sign him. So it's it's good asset management. He's a solid goalie. He's just... He gets injured fairly often. He's not, like, a firm number one. So it's risky, but it could also be smart. Or we give up, like, what? A second and a prospect for Flurry? I don't think he's worth one that. I wouldn't give up more than that. Maybe two seconds at the most. Uh, I don't know. The goaltending thing is really sketchy. But I hope the Flames get something done by the draft. Another rumor is that the Flames are supposedly looking up to move into the top three of the draft with the Blue Jackets. Alright, how do we play here? Top line again, but other than that, eh, pretty bad game. We'll give Ramo the next game. So yeah, that's interesting, going after Puyarvi. That's, I really want the Flames to get Puyarvi, but I also don't want us to pay something like, some people were suggesting Bennett up for number three. That's ridiculous. Like, why would the Flames do that? Like, heh, that just seems silly to me. But, uh, yeah, I do hope we find a way to move up into that top three. Because we need the right wing. We need the right wing depth. If that's not obvious from this game, like, ugh, we have nobody there. So, if we could get that, it would be phenomenal. But it doesn't sound like the Blue Jackets are willing to move that pick for anything other than the top line center. So, eh, uh, who knows. Alright, looks like I've got to take a peek at the scouting here. Uh, this guy was scouting. I have no idea what he was scouting. Got some good information on some guy. This is Jordan Bennington guy. Huh. That's not a bad goalie. I wouldn't mind going after him, actually. I'm going to add you to my watch list. <laughs> Connor Hellebuck wasn't, wouldn't have actually been a great trade. Interesting. Hagman was my Swedish scout. Um, some good guys for the draft that we might... Are you draft eligible or were you drafted? Oh. Huh. You're intriguing. Yeah, he doesn't need to be drafted. Always make sure. That's somebody I'd be interested in if he doesn't go in the top few. For a defenseman, I know this Grunstrom. Uh, left winger. Also another guy who might, yeah, add to the shortlist. Interesting. Anders Steen, another Swedish scout. He's probably going to have the same information. Okay, here we go. This is what I need to see. Some information about the NHL. Anybody surprised? Dahan, interesting. Marco Dano too. Yeah, and nothing too like surprising. But good to know. At least we have some scouting now on these guys. Bobby McMillan. I know I had you scouting the Red Wings. Good, we get some information on that team. And who the, who are you scouting? Just young players, maybe. A lot of good information there. Alright, so I'm going to cut until I get through all the scouts and sending them back out. So, yeah, I'll see you in a few, few minutes. Alright, the scouts have been sent back out so we can continue on with the simulation. I'd like to get up to... Uh, I'd like to get up to December, but I don't think we're going to get there. So if we get to like mid-November, that'd be great. Stockton won another game. Poirier and Granlin are doing great down there. Might earn a call-up. Yeah, we'll just keep going. All right, up against the Jets today. Uh, more random stuff from the Miners. And how did the Flames? I think. The I think we have Ramo in it. I'll give him a shot. And we lost three one, so I'll go back to Ordeal. But uh, looks like it's not. It's our offense that's the problem here. Gee, we might have to make some changes. Some quick line changes here. So we're having issue scoring. Let's see what we can do. Alright, who's having issues here? Well, I don't think defensively maybe we get Anglin in for a game, but Weidman doesn't seem to be a problem. He's having a pretty good year from what I remember. Yeah, she's three points in four games. 
Where's Goudreau? He only has one goal in four games. Well, come on. That's got to be better. Yeah, who's not performing here? Backland, Froelich, and Hoodler. Interesting. Weird. Maybe we got to mess up with that. Mess with that line. Let's get staging in for a game and drop Juris. Uh, how did Juris do? Nothing phenomenal. And maybe get Shore in for Jones. Cause I don't think Jones is doing anything really. Could be wrong. I'll I'll check. Yeah, not really. Okay. With Stajan and Shore. That's a decent fourth line. Uh, I don't want to put Hoodler on the fourth, but man, he's just not getting it done. We'll give it another game. I'll be patient. Ah, uh, yeah, Jersey's a good penalty killer, but Shore can also play, play that position. So that's fine. Alright, so let's see how we do in the next game with those different lines a little bit. We gotta start winning here, or else <laughs> we're gonna be dropping to the bottom pretty quick. We gotta at least make it to November in this video. Let's see how we do on this one. Did we just lose 3 nothing? Oh, okay. To the Oilers. That is not good enough. I can't blame Ordeal for that. Oi. We're just not scoring goals. And I don't... Okay. I have an idea. Yeah, they're not happy. I'm not happy. Nobody's happy with that game. Alright. Screw this. Furland... You're switching with Hoodler. We'll, tr we'll try that. Maybe we'll go... I, li I like that Colburn Bennett Arvidsson line. It seems we're doing well. I'll try this. Maybe Fernling gets moved to the fourth line. But yeah, it's just not working. We'll try that. And hope that makes a difference. But man, that's that that's not... You don't lose to the Oilers 3 nothing. You don't lose to the Oilers at all. Ugh. Pathetic. We've got to do better than that. Alright, are we playing? Okay, here we go against the Capitals. We have to at least put forward a good effort this game. Oh my goodness. Shut out again. We are having scoring issues, man. Holy. Fernland's playing. I don't get it. We're just not scoring goals. Oi. Okay, more line changes, I guess. Holy crap, why are we playing so bad? Oh boy, the board is getting unhappy. <laughs> I hope I can't actually get fired, because I think that could happen. Okay, let's... Oh, who's scratch that I can put in? Give Anglin a game for Wideman, maybe. We just gotta screw with some things here and put Jones back in for staging. We'll try that. Try to get some more offense on that fourth line, but it's not. Things aren't going well. I can't blame Ordeo. I don't. I don't want to do anything with him because it's not his fault we're not scoring. I don't care if we lose games, but come on, let's at least be competitive in those games. This is just sad. Not even scoring a goal. Okay, Stockton. Okay, we lost a game there. Agostino got a goal. Maybe we call Agostino up. I mean, it doesn't look like. Uh, Raymond's doing anything. Or, it doesn't look like many of our players doing anything. We might need to make that serious change here. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, let's see. I'm giving it one more game until I make some big changes. One more game. Okay. Let's sim up to that day now. Or at least if you lose, please just be competitive. Oh, again, one goal. Ordeo played well. But we only scored one goal. And it was the third line. I don't get it. We're not scoring. At least Ordeo is playing well. Ugh. Man. Oh, and for leaks out two weeks. Great. Well, I know what we're doing. We're calling up Agostino. Let's go. Roster. Report. Agostino. Come on up. 
it's time for you to, to give yourself a, give yourself a shot here to make this team. All right. Uh, so I guess you know you're gonna go. Uh, we'll swap you with Colburn. I don't want to give you second line time, but I also need more of a right wing. And Colburn's played right wing before. Or I can move Juris up there, but then we have to. No, nah, this 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 makes sense. I'm okay with this. I mean, can we maybe we give Weidman power play time? Five on three. We'll put you there instead of Culkin. We'll try that. Penalty kill is like gone. Uh, we'll go with Juris and. Oh man, I don't know Colburn. I'm desperate. All right, let's see how we play the next game. Oh wait, man, this is just. I don't mind. I don't mind losing. It means we get a good draft pick, and we're rebuilding team still. So that's it's not a big problem. But losing that bad, that's not good enough. That's not. It's not acceptable. It's not exactly the greatest start of the year for this team. At least, at least. See, when Stockton loses, they're still competitive. <sighs> okay. So how many more games do we have left in the month? We've got. Looks like three or four more games. Are are you kidding me? And now Goudreau's injured in practice. Holy crap. Wow, we are in trouble now. Okay. Oh boy, Granlund. How are you ha doing down there? I think I saw you were doing pretty darn well. Yeah, he's got a bunch of points. Granlund and Poirier were the ones doing the best. We'll give Granlund a shot. You're coming up. <sighs> wow. We are in trouble. Okay. <sighs> Kutro, why do you have to get injured? You never get injured in real life. Okay, seven day IR. Um, let's get Granlund in there because we need some skill. Now, what are we going to do for lines? Oh, everything's going to go out the window. Okay, we're going to put Bennett on the top line with Monaghan and Hoover. We're going to go Backlund, Agostino, Arvidsson. We're going to go Granlund, Ferland, Colburn. Maybe. Or we should put, I'd like to put Grandland on the wing, but we don't really have any other centers. I don't, unless I, I just don't know what to put on the top line left wing, if not Bennett. I don't want to give it to Agostino. I don't mind these lines, these are, this is okay, we'll try it. We'll put, we will give Grandland top line power put down, we'll give him a shot to succeed here. Even though he's not really on the team in real life. We'll put him, just so it's easier to remember where Gaudreau was, I'll just put him on the even strength one too. Oh boy. Well, now things got interesting. If we lose now, I can't even blame the team <laughs> missing. Of course we win and we score goals. Are you kidding me? So, Monaghan loses his buddy Gaudreau and he just explodes. I, I don't get it, but okay. Good game, I guess. Not exactly how I wanted it to happen, but at least we won. Ugh. All right, let's get to the end. <laughs> Oilers players and pressing scouts. That's 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 a good one. Okay, we'll give Ramo the next game because Ordeo that was a little bit close. But now, okay, so Gaudreau gets injured and we just explode. Apparently, every game. What the heck? Bennett's having, playing phenomenally. We got Giordano's playing better. Backlund scoring goals. Who? Wow, these lines just clicked suddenly. What the heck? Agostino had freaking two points. I don't get this. I, I don't get it at all, but okay. That's interesting. But we will give Ramon the next game because that was a little bit rough. All right, so we have two more, three more games left in the month. 
Let's see if, if we can win a few. If we can, where are we at in our record? We have eight points. So we've gone four and five. If we can win two of these three games, we can at least get to 500. But holy crap, let's look at these stats. What just happened? Okay, Monaghan, that's, some of this is understandable. But Agostino has played two games and already has two points. And Cranlin, too. Not too shabby. But, yeah, okay, we definitely... These lines are working. I'm not going to screw with anything, but we're going to give Ramo a shot. All right. Uh, here we go. Up to the game. We're ninth against the Senators. Let's see what we can do. All right. So, yeah, Ramo didn't play all that well. But we got some goals again. Not bad. Who played poorly? Culkin and Wilderspoon. Yeah, they're starting to look a little bit in over their heads. When... When uh, Russell comes back, though, that'll solve some of the problems. And Raymond is not playing well at all. Why is Brody the... Ca ha, I forgot to change that. The fudge. Jew down. Captain. Alternate, that's fine. And we'll go... Brody is another alternate. That's fine. There we go. Much better. Whew. And we will get... Uh, Ramel back in. Or audio back in that. Man, we're just getting injuries all over the place. Out of curiosity, are my lines even hold down there? I probably should have checked that. I don't think I have the assistant coach doing anything. So I will quickly double check that before I get into the next game too. Good thing autosave is on. Um, let's go to Stockton. What are my lines down here? Yeah, that would be a problem, wouldn't it? Hmm. Okay, uh, Bully can go in up there, and uh, Riley can go in there. And Riley can go everywhere else. Done. Easy fix. Maybe then Riley will be happy. Okay, game against the Canadians and Stockton's. Ah, oh, dang it. I hate it when that happens. I had a feeling I might have too many players that have the the V on them, or scratch you so that uh, we're screwed. I don't have any more players. We're going to be playing... <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, I don't have enough players to do anything. Well, sorry team. That sucks. And the Flames lost by a long... Oh boy, audio. Ugh. Not a good game, and I'll... Well, Stockton won. Because we got some OP players on there. I'm surprised we won that one. Alright, last game of the month. Let's it let's give it a good effort. We'll we'll put Ramo in that. Alright. Let's get Ramo in there. For the last game. And then we will check out some stats and then we'll call her a month. Here we go. Both teams play. I shot, probably should have put... Oh, we lost to the Oilers again in a shootout. Uh, that hurts every time. Not bad. Nobody played terribly. And Ramo played pretty well, so he'll be the goalie for next time. And Stockton, 2 nothing win. Dang, not bad. Stockton's doing really well. Alright, so I'll have a quick look at the stats before moving into November, and then that'll be it for this episode. So stats-wise, Monaghan's leader in team, no surprise, Drew Danum's playing well. Backlund, Colbert, Arvidsson, Bennett all doing decently, as well as Ferland, and who they're starting to come around. Agostino hasn't done as well since his amazing first game. Anybody playing really bad? Shore, Stage, and Angland. Leak. Culkin's a bit in, in over his head, but not terrible, not terrible. And let's look at our let's look at the standings. NHL. So tenth and tenth in the West. That's not bad. We're actually not that far to the playoff spot, but it's still early on. So yeah, not the greatest start. We've had some injury troubles, but we ended up winning a few games there. So uh, as we look at uh at our schedule for the previous month we had a really rough start there we went like 
what six and oh, it's one and six. But then we went two, two and three. Okay, yeah, no, there was actually no silver lining there. We we just had a really bad first month. Well, let's see if we can turn it around in the next episode. And until then, I'm out.